Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the McFarlane Toys Page Punchers Flash minifigure. So Flash doesn't come with any accessories, but he does come with a comic book. He comes with Flashpoint number one. This is actually a comic that I don't have in my collection, so I'm excited to read it. It has some really awesome art by Andy Kubert. And in the back, if you look at it, it actually says Flashpoint 1 McFarlane Special Edition. So this is a special edition uh, version of Flashpoint number 1 made just for this figure pack. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Flash. So Flash actually has some pretty good sculpt detail to him for being such a tiny figure. I really like the expression on his face. I hope the camera's picking up that smirk that he has. I really like the way that looks. Uh, the paint could have been a little bit better. But this is a minifigure, so I wasn't expecting, like, top-tier paint or sculpt detail. But he actually has some really nice sculpt detail. He has some textured lines on his sides, his legs, and his arms. And the rest of his suit also has a very subtle texturing to it. So I'm pleasantly surprised by the sculpt on this. It's a really tiny figure, but he's actually sculpted pretty nicely. So that's about all to go over with this figure. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. So he has a ball jointed head that can look up that far. He can look down just about all the way. He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out that far. They can also spin all the way around. He has a swiveled waist. He can kick forward that far. He can kick back an inhuman amount even for the flash. And he can do a split. So now let's do some size comparisons. So first up. Here the Flash is next to the Marvel Miniverse Quicksilver figure, and Flash is actually taller than him. This uh, Miniverse Quicksilver figure was in the 2 inch scale, so the Flash is just slightly taller than him. I was actually thinking these were the same scale, but they are different scales. And finally here he is next to the Star Wars The Vintage Collection the Armorer figure, and she is in the 3 inch scale. So this Flash figure isn't quite 3 inches. He's a little bit taller than the 2-inch Marvel Miniverse figures, but he's not quite as tall as Star Wars 3-inch figures. He's kind of his own unique scale, and I really like that. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this up, because it is a really awesome set. I really love minifigures like this, and as I said, this is a unique scale of its own, and that sets it apart from all of the other minifigures that DC has done. I also think this is a great value. $9.97 for a full-length comic book, that Flashpoint number one, and this minifigure. I think that's a pretty good value. I think this is great for people that either don't have the comic, people that just like collecting McFarlane toys, or people that are just getting into DC comics and figures. So whether you're just getting into DC or you're a lifelong DC fan, I would highly recommend picking this up. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.